Hi everyone! Um, so I wasn't planning to make this video uh, until I see your reaction on the last video I did. So I decided to make this video talk about my own experience and how I feel. So I'm just being comfortable. I'm wearing pajamas. I'm not wearing lashes or fake pants. I just want to be comfortable and share my thoughts about it. So I will start my own experience. So in my first trimester, I had really bad morning sickness. I was uh, sick of most food, even my favorite food. It was very hard to me. I had to force myself to eat. I don't know if you know about this feeling. I wanted to throw up all the time, all the time during the day. Like no matter what I ate during the day, in the evening, like at night, I was throw up everything I had. So that's why I weight jogged. So I talked about this to my doctor and my doctor told me, uh, don't worry about it. It's normal if you lost weight in the first trimester. And then he gave me um, some pills to take to stop throwing up. So after taking the pill, I stopped throw up, but I still feel nauseous. But it's better because I don't throw up and then my weight back to normal and uh, grow up slowly. Right now, I'm on my second trimester. My appetite got uh, a lot better. Uh, I read some comments, some people uh, mentioned that about overeating so it seems like they agree about overeat so for me I can't overeat because every time I overeat food come up to my throat so I think everybody is different so for me I overeat sometimes I just overeat that's nice because the food I made tasted pretty good <laughs> so I had dinner like around 5 and after 12 the food still didn't digest it it made me really uncomfortable the food coming up to my throat it's really uncomfortable so overeat during the pregnancy it's not for me. A day before, I overate ice cream. There's no nutrition in ice cream. I really crave for the sweets. Ice cream, uh, candies, donuts, just all the sweets. And so that morning, I overate ice cream. My husband bought like a, a, a big box of ice cream and I ate like almost half of it at a time. So after that, I felt sick and uh, the ice cream was in my stomach for a long time and it didn't digest. It just keep coming up to my throat. It was really uncomfortable. So overeating is not for me and it's not good for me. I just really crave for the sweets and some of those sweets includes uh, the artificial sugar. Artificial sugar is not good for baby at all. So very soon I will have gestational diabetes test. So for testing uh, diabetes during pregnancy, some women can get diabetes during the pregnancy. So pregnant women are um, easily to get uh, diabetes if uh, uh, they eat too much, I mean too much sugar. So I have been uh, watching a lot of videos on the TikTok. It's a Chinese version TikTok. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, pregnant women are concerned about uh, the test. And some of them has diabetes. Uh, so some people think you can eat um, whatever you want during the pregnancy. So I read some comments on other other people's videos. So the doctor talked to this uh, this girl um, should uh, not eating some certain of fruit because her blood sugar is very high. Some fruits contains a lot of sugar. If you eat a whole whole watermelon at a time, that's uh, too much. Like if you eat two or three uh, watermelon that's uh, what I mean too much and some people also mentioned about uh, eating for two I have heard a few doctors said do not eat for two I followed a few um, 
doctor channels some Chinese uh, channels on TikTok the Chinese version TikTok so they are doctors and they have a lot of followers so I'm following those doctors of course I follow my doctor suggestions so my doctor told me to gain between 25 pounds to 35 so I have been following my doctor's suggestion and my weight is slowly going up so there is nothing wrong to watch your weight during the pregnancy I said so the rate of uh, gaining weight not gaining weight like 2 pounds per day that's what I mean slow down the rate of gaining weight can you imagine if you gain 2 pounds every single day that's calculated if you gain two pounds per day and times seven that's 14 pounds a week 14 pounds a week and times four that's 56 pounds a month do you think it's normal to gain 50 to 60 pounds in one month uh, so that's what i mean not gaining too much I have been doing YouTube for many years some people really make a big deal how like bad I watch my weight so this is like if I talk about weight then it's uh, unhealthy uh, it's been several years so a few people like to exaggerate how I watch my weight I don't spend my day to think about weight uh, I was just like weigh myself in the morning and uh, just to see how much I gain and, uh, and that's it you will not gain too much if you eat healthy food only if you eat unhealthy food then you will gain like too much for example if I eat a lot of ice cream a lot of donuts a lot of pizza a lot of fast food if I eat too much of those I would gain like really fast so my weight gain has been really good and so every time when I have doctor visit the nurse will check my weight and check my baby's weight and uh, my weight is healthy and my baby's weight is healthy please don't over worry about me about my weight I know some of you guys are concerned about me my doctor knows more and a lot of people think I look pretty petite in the video my height is actually higher than the average Asian girls so my height is 166 centimeter so that's five four feet so when I wear heels uh, then my height will be over 170 centimeter so it's like 5.6 feet maybe I look pretty in the videos or even uh, in the in the pictures but if you see me in person I am a pretty tall because I like to wear heels but right now I can't wear heels I also remember in the past some people said I'm too skinny they also concerned about underweight I'm not underweight so if you go to China a lot of people have similar figure like me so if you look at the Chinese drama if you look at the Chinese version and TikTok really a lot of people have similar figure like me I know if you compare me to a lot of people in US and then maybe I look uh, smaller than a lot of people uh, I also find uh, the cultural differences I have been watching a lot of pregnancy videos on the uh, Chinese version TikTok and I've seen a lot of comments about uh, how they are so proud of they didn't uh, gain so much weight while pregnant their baby are healthy but they didn't gain a lot of weight because some example like uh, some pregnant woman on like a month seven a month eight they only gain like a few pounds and then they make comments saying that they didn't gain so much so they are proud of themselves and you know what almost all people sum up sum up 
I'll also seen um, some of uh, like Chinese actresses, uh, their pregnancy and they share their experience how they didn't gain so much weight, their baby are healthy and they share how they um, grow healthy baby without gaining too much weight. I know if they share this experience in American, then I think some people will disagree or being sensitive about it. It's really different. I just watched a lot of pregnancy videos on TikTok, the Chinese version TikTok. I've never seen people talking about uh, well, they are proud of uh, gaining a lot of weight. I haven't seen people think it's healthy to gain a lot of weight, but according to the comments under my last video, well, it seems like some people disagree with me. Last video, I try to give uh, information of uh, weight, gaining weight at the right rate and don't eat too much. I saw I shared a chart. This chart is from one of popular pregnancy app in China. It's very popular. It's called the Mama Wang Yun Yu. And one of my followers, uh, where she said, don't worry about your weight and your baby won't be too big. <laughs> so I response that I talk about this uh, with my doctor about um, baby too big. And my doctor told me my baby might be too big. He said Asian uh, with Caucasian, they are likely to make it bigger babies. I think it's from last year we talked about uh, the natural birth and the c-section. You guys can check out her comments. Uh, happy face! Hi! Happy face! So she made a lot of good suggestions. This one is in Chinese, so you could use the translator. So she gives me some suggestions about the coconut water and the tea. So I'll ask my husband to get the coconut water and the raspberry leaf tea. <laughs> I have been drinking a lot of water, more than 3 cups a day, 28 ounces. It's very important to drink a lot of water when you're pregnant. Do you know where the cup comes from? This cup is from the deliver emergency room. Nurse gave it to me. I talk about this on my Patreon. I went to emergency room. I'm going to talk about this on my Patreon. And this problem is not something I can change. I can fix myself. Even the doctor cannot fix it. So we have to wait to see if the problem got better. We cannot do anything about it. The only thing my doctor suggests me is just doing everything slowly and I need to repeat that. The chart, the gaining weight chart uh, from the last video uh, is for a pregnant woman uh, who have a normal BMI, not for underweight, overweight and obese. And also the number on the chart is just uh, a suggestion. It's not like I have to gain as much. It just gives you idea it's okay if you over it a little bit. So like my doctor said, he suggests me to gain between 25 to 35 pounds. As long as I eat healthy food, not junk food, then my gaining weight will be in a healthy range, like the doctor said. So I have been following my doctor's suggestions. I know everybody is different, we we'll just listen to your doctor advices. So the next video will be the fashion video. I'm trying to do as many things as I can because I don't know what will happen in my third trimester. I don't know what will happen after I give birth. So maybe I won't be able to make videos. So right now I'm trying to do some things that I really want to do. And also some people ask about the baby stuff. So I have been working on the baby stuff with my mom. <laughs> and also some pregnancy closing items. Those pregnancy closing are really for the third trimester. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in next video. See you. Bye bye.